Canadians were worried we wouldn't get a deal, but today many are worried about what we've given up to get this deal. This new deal looks nothing like the priorities the Liberals promised at the beginning of negotiations. Where is that progressive trade agenda? The Liberals have made major concessions that will hurt Canadian dairy, poultry and egg farmers. They failed to get Trump's promised exemption on aluminum and steel tariffs, and they've made access to medication even more expensive. The Liberals promised a win, win, win. How can this Prime Minister give up so much and call this a win? Right Honourable Prime Minister. Speaker, unfortunately, the NDP are not just opposed to all trade deals, but especially progressive trade deals, which is a shame, because what we've moved forward with in terms of labour standards in North America is historic in terms of protecting the rights of workers. What we've moved, workers, what we've moved forward for uh, on the environment is strengthened environmental protections uh, and real consequences within the accord that had never been done before. We are moving forward in a deal that works for the middle class and people working hard to join it, and that is at the heart of the progressive agenda of this government and of this progressive trade deal. Member for Essex. The lack of transparency throughout this whole process has been overwhelming. Canadians were promised transparency and expected transparency. Our workers need to know exactly what their government has signed on to and how this will affect their livelihoods. They deserve to know that their jobs and our Canadian industries are protected. And I'm still looking for that progressive trade agenda. Uh -huh. So simple question for the Prime Minister. Will he be transparent and bring this deal into Parliament for study, debate and vote? The Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, uh, there's again a lot of credit given to this government for negotiating this deal, but I have to say that we have uh, owed a debt of gratitude to many, many stakeholders and industries across this country, including the Canadian Labour Congress and Unifor. Jerry Dias and uh, Hassan Youssef have worked closely with us every step of the way to ensure that this deal uh, could be the best possible one for workers, for labour and for Canadians. That's what we're going to continue to focus on. And of course, Mr. Speaker, through the ratification process, we look forward uh, to bringing this deal uh, to Parliament.